Gustav Stickley was a fairly wealthy capitalist. He could have built something very fancy, but he, he didn't. He built what is really, for a person in his position, a modest house. And a house that really directly spoke to and articulated the, the philosophy that he had been advocating in The Craftsman. I mean, here is really a hand-built house. whole bottom half of it is, is logs. So here is sort of a, a living embodiment of hand craftsmanship. And also, of course, what's more American than a log cabin? But when I'm at Crescent Farms, I have this great sense of, of placidity. It, it's just a place that induces calmness. I feel calm when I'm there. I feel soothed when I'm there. And I think that's the furnishings, the subdued light. It's almost like a, a den in a way. You're, you're protected. And I think all those elements act together to create the sense of serenity. Stickley had his measured way of really scouring the decorative arts um, with his craftsman aesthetic and infusing this whole almost mythical quality to the ideal craftsman interior, the ideal craftsman home. <laughs>